What's up, YouTube? I'm Rick from Fresno, California, and you're watching TJV and the Diesel Weasel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, so we're done wrapping all our Christmas gifts. Now we're on to our next project of the day. And Britt's got a hammer. What are you doing? Wrecking stuff. Oh my. Diesel, what's she doing? That's the spot where Diesel threw Chevy into the wall when they were playing once. We found it a couple days later. Diesel, Can't you stay out what that bang was. Come on, Diesel. Stay out of the way. I don't know how you much. You want to get in the way of mom right now. How much I can. That, I don't want to hit any wires or plumbing or anything. Well, we can just work out of that hole there and slowly. Uh, just keep banging? If you want to. Feels like all the stress I've been carrying for the last few months is just, whew. yeah. <laughs> so we've officially begun renovations on our master bedroom. And Frankie is terrified. <laughs> Sorry, little guy, I didn't see you back there <laughs> shaking. <laughs> oh no. You okay? <laughs> you ever seen this side of mom before? Once or twice. <laughs> Bad things happened. <laughs> so we've officially begun renovations. As you see, I've already taken the door frame out around here. Uh, we've just gotten started. This is our master bathroom, and we're uh, ripping this out. We'll do the bathtub and shower last, but we're ripping this out. And we're actually going to be moving it over to this side of the room and connecting it, taking out this wall here and connecting it with this bathroom. In here. <laughs> the tiny closet of a bathroom? Yeah, so this will be part of this. So we're going from a two and a half bath to two full baths eventually with a real master bedroom. And a real walk in shower, the real jacuzzi tub. Real. Real. We're doing a jacuzzi tub. Okay. All right. Fancy. It's going to be like our bathroom in the last house, but much nicer and a lot less cold. That bathroom was freezing. Mm -hmm. And it took like, what was it, like 10 minutes to get hot water to it? Five to 10 minutes, depending yeah. on the season. It's terrible. So this whole bathroom in the middle here is being demolished. And this will all be open space. And then this is where the wall of the bedroom is right now. You can see the closet actually goes in there. We're going to be moving this wall back to like here. So from there, this wall will all be knocked out. And moving to the, providing it's not load bearing. We're just going to double check that. And if it is, we'll probably put some posts down just to make sure that the, the load is there. But I don't think it is because we have one post running across there, one at the end of the house, obviously. Like these are two, two old houses or schoolhouses put together. But look at this half. There's not one load bearing wall anywhere, unless of this here. But this wasn't here when the house was built. We saw pictures of it before this was put here. This is not load bearing. That's just cosmetic, because that never used to be there. So this whole area here, there's no load bearing. I think the rafters are just built to maintain that. So this used to be two schoolhouses back in like the 50s or 40s or something. And this was one half. And then the second schoolhouse, I guess, started here. This is where our bedrooms are. So I, we've got to double check, but I don't think that'll be load bearing. And if it is, that's fine. Even if we do, I mean, we could put some really beautiful like timber posts and whitewash them to make them look really farmhousey. I mm -hmm. think we could still do something really, really beautiful with that. So it's not the end of the world if it is load bearing. Yeah. And then this will all be a lot more open. Master, be master bathroom will be on this side, ending probably like halfway over here. And then all of that, that way is going to be master bedroom plus about an extra four feet that way yet. So there'll be a closet here where this sink is. Probably. To rip all that up, probably put a closet in there. And then there'll also be a closet on this side of the entryway on the door, so like his and hers, or we'll figure out what we want to do with that at that point. For now, we're just trying to slowly rip it apart and get started at least so that in our minds we're 
we're on it. And because you can't fit our bed in here anyway, you can't fit the bed on this side. And you go on to this side, I got all my laundry sitting there, but you can't fit the bed on that side either. So this, this room is useless to us other than a storage room. So we're gonna fix that. And as you can see, we have officially begun. Britt did the honors. <laughs> you laugh. I have the hammer. Be careful with the hammer. Ignore it. So, we're getting going on the bathroom here, so we've barricaded off everything that we don't want to get dust all over and now we can just focus on this area here i'm going to carry this door out of here this wall is actually going to be staying up because that's where the toilet is i mean probably where the tub is so this wall here that wall there then the inside of the bathroom let me start on this good job I need to get you a harley to go with that bandana Well, it was a lot of fun. We got this section done. So I'm gonna pull that out of there later on today yet. My parents are coming down to visit for a little bit yet. So uh, I'll have to get this done either before or after. Oh, we got tomorrow too. In the meantime, we've got to run into town in a little bit, drop off some stuff with some friends, some Christmas gifts and stuff. But first, I think everybody wants to go for a walk. Is that what, we're, what we've been talking about? We're going to talk about going for a walk. <laughs> There's that pep in your step, little man. You seem so down and out all day. Ready to go for a walk? What do you think? What do you think? I don't know. You haven't convinced me. You want to go for a walk? But that way? I don't think they want to go. I think they do. You want to go for a walk? No? Frankie definitely doesn't want to go. No. Look at him. <laughs> They're all just waiting for me. Come on. All right, guys, here we go. Come on, Diesel. Good waiting. Here he goes. Oh, here goes another one. Here goes another one. Super Vina. I'm a Vina Wolf. Did you see? It's a, it's a Vina Wolfen. Finally got them all to stay on the trail for a little bit. Won't last long. There goes Chevy. The big guys have an obsession with uh, deer poop. What do you mean the big guys? Little guys all too? They all, all do? Of them like deer poop. For some reason in the winter time, they get obsessed with winter uh, with uh, deer poop. And they think that it's, you know, just a free feast. Well, the creek has not frozen yet, so it can't officially be winter yet. Still got running water. You know it gets when it's cold when the creek freezes over. It's actually a really nice day today. That's why we decided to go for a walk. It's only, well, it's about the freezing point. So what is that, 32 Fahrenheit, zero Celsius? It's not too bad. Most things are melting. Big Frank apparently found the new trail. We had to go fish him out of there. Oh, there goes Diesel. We lost another one. <laughs> Big Frank had no problem getting up, though. He may be 13, but you never know it. Diesel, we're taking this way. Diesel. Come on, Diesel. Diesel, come here. Weasel. Come on, bud. Come on, old man. Show him how it's done. Good boy. Come on. Simple. Easy, easy. Can't wait to see how big these guys get next summer. Man, they've gotten big. They're like as tall as me when we moved in here like three years ago. Way up there now. Beautiful day out here. Beautiful. <laughs> We've got our hands full. The, the The dogs haven't been out for a walk like this in a while because it's been so cold. And so now it's a bit warmer today. We had the strong wind pushing me all the way home. This warm weather we have came from America and it's brought up all this warm weather for Christmas. And uh, 
since it's warm, we decided we'd take them for a walk, right? But the dogs are just freaking out because they're so excited to be outside. Got our hands full here. We're all in there somewhere. <laughs> 